to one part of my hair. Ah, uh, okay, so I'm going to be honest. Everybody's making nice around me. The birds are making nice. Everything is making nice. So you can see here, nice. Mm. We don't even like that. So. Now somebody is putting on the top. They don't even like that. Any which way out. Hey my name is Squad, welcome back to my channel. My name is Omomi aka Petit Diva and this channel is all about hair care, skincare and a little bit of randomness. Yes, I'm coming to you beer face and uh, with my hair in a bunch of twists because I will be trying out my hair wax um, or rather I'll be trying my colored hair wax uh, this is a temporary temporary hair wax or temporary hair color in the form of a wax so um, I don't know what's going to happen if you watch my Aliexpress haul video you would have seen this I told you I got the Mofajang I got the Mofajang um, brand and I got it in red so let's see this is how it looks um, That is it. Okay. Huh? Then the ingredients or according to what is on the label. The ingredients listed include water, beeswax, uh, Copernica carifera wax, cetril uh, so what I'm not pronouncing that. Glycerize, oh I'm not even doing that. Tea extract, um glyceriza, whatever extra, steric acid. PVP, um, castor oil, P PEG, PEG 60 castor oil and titanium dioxide and cetri, uh, cetri, uh, whatever I'm not pronouncing that. And in which way? I don't know. I want to try two different type of application. To one part of my hair, I want to use my hand, then twist my hair back and allow it to dry. Then I want to apply it to the brush and then apply it to my hand. I want to apply the wax to the brush, then apply the brush to my hair, then twist, then see what happens. So, some people say apply it when dry, some people say apply it while wet. Me, I'm going to do it when damp because I don't even know what I'm doing. Mm. So, I would spray this. Hostel and nettle and apple cider infused uh, hairspray, and then um, see what happens. Oh, I don't like the smell. I don't know. It's just weird. Okay, so it's hot. Am I supposed to? Yeah. 
than I expected. Ha! Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh my god. It has to become darker than this. I oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. It's not as red as it was in my hand, but <laughs> okay, let me twist and continue. I really don't need it on my scalp, so let's try the next one. on my head ever so this is my first time with trying any kind of color so I think that's what's amazing me I never ever put like okay I have put a streak of gold when there was this gold uh, this color spray yeah it was a color spray so I did a bit of gold and that's all for to like dye my hair no, so this is the first time I'm seeing how my hair will look if I ever think of dyeing my hair. No, my hair is not red, red. Definitely, it cannot be red because it's really it's brown black. So it's more like color 99G. If you know what I'm talking about, I mean, um, all those um expression um braids. You know, in Nigeria we call them attachment, I don't know why people call them in your country. But all those braiding hair, yeah, this braiding hair, the color that this would fall in is the 99J, I think. Yeah, this is much more than color 33. Mm. It's all good. Let's see what happens when it dries. Maybe it will still be as vibrant as this or... It will be dollar. I spread it inside my hair. Come down. It's really, really easy to apply and it glides on well. So that, and I don't think you need that much. Just this is enough for that second. This part. part I don't like is this part that um, the paint fell on my scalp oh, it's just looking very odd and definitely it transfers my mirror is a mess the spray bottle is a mess so now let me try my other technique that I said I wanted to try um, let's see if that will work it's just like if you're trying to get a highlight um, I think they apply it to the brush, then run it through the hair. I saw something like that. So I'm going to try that method and see what happens. Mm. And if it doesn't work, we go back to our applying. We go back to applying with the hand. Seriously, 
I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. So what do I do with this one in my hand? So, does this one look different to you? It just makes this hair like really detangled, but that's about all. Sorry, I finished twisting this. My camera went off. Apparently, if you record straight 24 minutes or 20 minutes, it goes off. So, we need to hurry up. So that is all for this application. Um, I, I'm going to wash my hands first. Thank you. So I wash my hands with just water. You can see that there's no um, stain from the hair wax. So and I still have quite a lot, like you guys can see. Like it's really a lot of product. I probably use maybe like one eight, so I think or one six. I think that you can use this six times. Cause my hair is not that big. I don't know. I don't know if I will use it again. I might use it again. If I want something fun to do, or oh, I don't know. It depends on the results from this one. If I like the results after it is dried and after I've styled it. Maybe I might use it again if I don't like it. We are going to find a way to use it because I cannot throw it in the trash. So I will come back when this has dried and then we will see if I like it and you like it. So I would see you guys later. Bye. Hey, I'm back. It's the second day and I think my hair is dry. Um, it's not, it's still staining. Um, so let's loosen the twist and um, let me pack it in a puff or whatever. My hair feels a little bit stiff and that's to be expected because of the wax. Just and then yesterday while I was allowing it to air dry, um, <laughs> I had to make sure that I had a towel where I was so that I don't stain the chairs. I also felt like my head was aching a bit, but I don't know, maybe it's just my head itself is aching, not the, not the wax causing my head to ache. But it went away after some hours or okay, minutes, because I couldn't remember when I, my head stopped aching. Um, I played, I played with him on Oh, I love it! Uh, I usually always just kind of think that their twist that looks good. Mine looks terrible. I wish I was... Let me repeat what I said. I wish I was one of those people that their twist out looks very good. Mine always looks like something is going on. You guys can see, oh this my hair god, it's something that would help if you are those kind of people that don't know how to leave your hands, um, that don't know how to remove your hands from your hair. Now I have this uh, touch my hair syndrome, what's that word, there's a syndrome that where, where every time my hair is held, I'm always touching it. This definitely made me not to touch my hair yesterday and this definitely will make me not to touch my hair because look at my hands okay so let me try and make this decent
Do I look decent enough? Okay, this is the best I can do because I told you guys my two stats always look like I'm 10 from somewhere. So I say something. And that's supposed to say. Any which way, this is how it's going to be. No, let's take a still shot for the thumbnail. I'll wash my hands then I will come back with the rest of my thoughts okay so I'm back now if you have very long hair then this is going to be a problem for you in my own opinion except let your hair in a high puff or a bun because it transfers like crazy this thing will stain your clothes it will stain everywhere you put your head or your hair on so if you have long hair that is reaching your shoulders or near your um, neck or what's this called neckline whatever it's called or collar this is called a collar that is close to your collar or your neck you are definitely going to have problem with whatever you wear except to, even if you wear a black top if it's red it's still going to show up except maybe you wear the same color of red or something or purple or whatever color that you put on your hair so definitely this thing transfers like crazy so it's one major disadvantage for this hair wax but the thing is by washing my washing the wax off my fingers uh, of my hands I noticed that it washes off easily so definitely it's not something it's temporary like I earlier said it is very temporary once you wash it off with or rinse it off with water it will it will rinse off but that's also a bad thing now in Nigeria we are in the rainy season so imagine if I go out without an umbrella and the rain fall even with it in a puff just imagine everywhere red Everybody will be looking at me. The wrong color is on my face. So this is something that right now I won't even try. Except I'm not going out. Which is why why would I dye my hair if I don't want to rock it outside? So after I'm done with this, I don't think I'm going to try it until we are in dry season. Or until I get a big umbrella. Or until I check the weather forecast and I don't go out when it is going to rain. Which is impossible. So maybe I would get a shower cap, umbrella, raincoat and everything so if I want to try this again during the rainy season. I think it looks good. I really like this color so if I was going to try to dye my hair in the future, I would try this color. I think it complements my skin tone. And then I also like that the fact that I did apply it to the root. So you have this gradient from the black to like ombre green there that means that whatever but it looks like as if my roots are not tight or oh, i like it like this i really like it like this so that's about all for my first impression demo review of the mofa jang um hair paint wax yeah that's what i would say I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video and you're not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing by clicking on that red button that says subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell notification icon by the side so that you're notified anytime I upload videos.
now with all that said thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in my next video bye